The Errol Spence Jr. vs. Terrence Crawford fight is almost here, and on July 29th, we'll get to see which of these pros' predictions comes true. Anthony Joshua is definitely leaning towards Spence winning, but he wished both men good luck with their upcoming fight. Joshua stated, With what Derek does here, it's not only the physical, it's the fundamentals, and also, this here gets pushed. And if you look at Errol, he can push, push, push. So can Crawford, but I'm rooting for Errol. I'm rooting for Errol in this fight, but good luck to both men. Carol Brook has been in the ring with both men at some point, and he definitely believes that Crawford will win. Kel stated, It's a fight where I've been in with both of them, and it's a funny one because I could get this wrong, the reason being that styles make fights. A positive for Spence is that he's a natural southpaw, and I think that may cause Crawford some problems. But I'm going for Crawford to win that fight. He's a switch hitter. He's like a surgeon in there, very precise, great finisher, and he's a great fighter. They're both great fighters, but I'd have to lean towards Crawford. He's been more active than Spence, who's been in a big car crash. He's not really been active like Crawford. There are only small percentages in it, but I do lean towards Crawford in that fight. James Tony also thinks that Crawford will just be too much for Spence to handle. James stated, I think Crawford is too much for Spence, but we'll find out. We'll never know until they're in that ring. I'm not being biased. Crawford is the better fighter. He's fought the better competition. People say that Spence has, but I don't see it. I see a late round stoppage, knockout. Spence has never dealt with anyone who's just as fast as he is and who hits harder than he does. I love Sean Porter, but Crawford beat the brakes off him. Calvin Ford thinks that this is going to be an extremely close fight, and he couldn't be happier to see these two in the ring. Spence Crawford, who wins? That's what I'm going to leave away. I told you that's the coach's dream right there. You get what I'm saying? Because like I said again, um, Spence is the bigger guy. He's been in that weight class for a long period of time. The question I ask people throughout both of their career, which one been hurt in their career since they've been fighting? And then we'll know who to win. Okay, That's the it. answer. Polly Malinaji thinks that Spence will be able to set a pace to wear Crawford down. Polly stated, I really like both guys and have utmost respect for their careers and their accomplishments. That said, I think Errol's too big and the natural size is going to be a bit too much for Terrence to deal with. We'll see how it plays out. I think Terrence is more versatile and he's actually my number one guy on the pound for pound list. I think Errol wins the fight, but I think Terrence is the more complete fighter. But at welterweight, I think Spence will cause a pace and physicality to the fight that the smaller guy will be worn down by. Freddie Roach thinks that Crawford will come out there with an amazing game plan, and he likes that he's able to switch. Freddie stated, I have Crawford. I like him. He's a friend of mine. He's a good person, and he goes out there with his game plan. He might turn southpaw or righty in the second out, and then he carries through. I like him a lot. I think he's one of the best fighters in the world today. I think he's thoughtful, and he counterpunches really well. Manny Pacquiao believes that this is going to go all the way through 12 rounds. Manny stated, The style advantage. Crawford has that advantage against Spence. It depends how they prepare for the fight. I don't think it ends in a knockout. It's going to be a 12-round decision. Adrian Broner thinks this is going to be a back-and-forth match, but he's really close to Spence. Spence and Bud Crawford have agreed to fight. How do you see that fight playing out in the ring? It's going to be a, it's going to be a crazy chess match, but a war. Um, they're going to fight. They they're they're going to they're going to fight to death. They're going to fight the shit out of each other and uh it's crazy because I got I got personal relationships with both of them, but of course I'm I'm closer to Earl. You know, even though me and Terrence we we close as shit too, and his whole his whole team they my whole team love their whole team. Like it's a fight that boxing need. It's a fight that both of them need, and I really see a trilogy in it in this in this mm. whole thing with them. Wow. I honestly can see a trilogy and um, both of them guys retiring. Shakur Stevenson seems to be one of the only pros who believes that this fight will end in a knockout. Shakur stated, I think I'll be leaning more so toward a knockout. I think with both of them fighters, both of them dudes, they're thoroughbreds. They're going to want to fight. I feel like, honestly, no matter how the fight, no matter how you picture the fight going or going to the elite level, I think both of them are itching to punch each other, so it's like fire against fire in there. Oscar De La Hoya believes that the winner is clear-cut. 
Oscar stated, you don't have to be a genius to know who's the better boxer. I strongly feel Crawford and Spence are both great fighters, but in my humble opinion, Crawford has the better ability. He has the better arsenal inside the ring. Terence Crawford isn't sure whether his fight will end by decision or knockout, but he thinks he's going to be undisputed. When was that fight going to last? You and Earl? I don't know. I don't know. I ain't no psychic. I don't think it go the distance, though. Hmm. I don't think it go the distance. Whether it do or not, I'm going to be undisputed. Mm. I'm going to be undisputed. I'm sitting here telling you right now. Mike Tyson thinks that both men are beasts in the sport, but he doesn't think that Crawford can afford to stand still with Spence. Mike stated, it's a hell of a fight. Listen, you've got a master in there with a mean hell of a right? But the master is coming up in weight. He's the small guy, but he's been successful with bigger guys. Then again, styles make fights. That fight that Spence had with the Cuban or Dana Sugas, he got hurt. He got dropped. That guy is a hell of a fighter too, and he got up and killed him. You can't stand still with Spence. You gotta move. Crawford has to do a lot of movement because if you stand still, he will break you down. Shane Mosley had originally been backing Spence, but after some reconsideration, he thinks Crawford is at 100%. Shane stated, when you're not 100% and you're going up against another opponent that's just as good as you, it's very hard to beat them. So I think Crawford is probably 100% and he's a game fighter. He's willing to win. So I'm leaning more towards Crawford because of that. I'm not saying Errol Spence won't be able to beat him. It could be a 50-50 fight. I just think that with all the things that happened to Spence, that takes a big toll and there might be a hard hill to climb up in that fight. Sean Porter has been in the ring with both men and he thinks that pacing has everything to do with who wins. Yeah. Hey, my, fight, my fight with Errol started fast and finished fast. We might get that. You know what I mean? My fight with, with Terrence started slow and finished kind of fast. I mean, like, it, don't say shit. Don't <laughs> say nothing. <laughs> Teddy Atlas thinks the fight will be a stoppage, but he thinks that it's gonna come late in the fight. Teddy stated, I think Crawford stops him late in the fight. I love Spence, don't get me wrong. He's the naturally bigger guy at welterweight. He's a hell of a puncher and he's got Olympic pedigree. So he knows what he's doing technically. But at the end of the day, there's one thing that Crawford has better than anybody, instincts. You can't coach instincts. You either got it or you don't and he's got some of the greatest instincts I've ever seen in a fighter. Amir Khan definitely sees Crawford winning, but he doesn't think that it's gonna be by stoppage. Amir stated, I've got Terrence winning that fight unanimously, not by stoppage because Spence is a tough and tricky fighter. He just breaks down a fight so easily, does Crawford. I remember even with the speed I had and throwing combinations, he was making me miss by inches. Then he'd lean back and catch me every time. He's so precise and his timing is on point. He's probably one of the best fighters I've ever seen. He reminds me a bit of Andre Ward. Gary Russell Jr. broke down what he thought and he doesn't see Spence being irresponsible with his defense. But with that being said, I think Earl, Earl, he has what it takes. He, he's not gonna be defensively irresponsible. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna. Terrence is gonna, so Terrence 12, gonna have the work over 12 to get rounds. of a 12 round duration. Terrence, Terrence gotta be perfect. Be perfect. For Earl don't have to be. Earl don't gotta be perfect for 12 Earl, rounds. Earl. Connor Ben sees this ending with a late stoppage by Crawford as well, though. Connor stated, I know me and Spence have had our words, but that aside, I think he's a great fighter, a great talent. He's accomplished a lot in the sport of boxing, but not being biased, I would lean towards Crawford. I'd probably say 8th, 9th, 10th, around then. Bomack McIntyre believes that we're about to see a version of Crawford that we haven't seen before, and he believes that Spence messed up. Bomack stated, as long as Arrow brings his A game, I know for a fact that you're going to see a performance that you've never seen out of Terrence. People are going to be like, wow, that's why he's considered one of the best in the world. They're going to move the goalpost, but as long as Terrence accomplishes what he wants to accomplish, I'm fine. I don't give a damn about what anybody thinks after this fight is over with. He's a legitimate welterweight now. This is where they messed up. They should have got him a fight when he first moved up to welterweight before he cleared the division out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on screen right now.